Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Scorpio. How are you guys? See what your energies are this week as it is a general reading. Take it how it best resonates. There we go. I see the possibility of travel movement, but it's also an energy of leaving something in the past, moving away calmly and peacefully, taking those lessons learned. Yeah, so it does look like travel. Yeah, definitely some kind of travel or change, maybe a change of scenery. But it's also an energy, I feel, where you're just kind of going to go with the flow. Okay, so it's an energy of some sort of change. I, I feel it's a change of scenery, too. See, going down another path here, making some kind of choice here. See, reflecting on the past a little, looking at this. Yeah, it's time to choose a new path. So it's an energy of... You know, not putting all your eggs in one basket. Look at, at something that you want to invest in. So I feel there's an energy of being patient. Some of you have been patiently waiting for something here. So I feel it's an energy where while you're waiting, uh, you may go through some change. You may decide to take a different path. I also see, I see positive energy regarding a whole new path. Life changes here. And also change for the better. So... Yeah, very nice energy. Maybe just looking at what you were invested in the past. And this could be like investing in travel, a new location, a change of scenery. Scorpio. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, see, releasing things that no longer serve. This is something to do with your hopes and dreams or something you've been wanting. So I do feel a little reflection on past, the lessons you've learned, the things that you know. But I do see an energy of just kind of calming down and just learning to go with the flow here. So sort of sitting on the fence, making this choice. But it is about letting go of something, something you've been invested in. It could be anything. Yeah. I feel a change of location, a change of scenery, and maybe even some outdoorsy um, energy here. Um, with the star but this is to do with your hopes and dreams here yeah very very nice energy yeah i do see some sort of change now this could be yourself scorpio but it also could be aries leo sag i see some aquarius energy yeah, some of you may be thinking of moving relocating but you know the king of wands is someone who i feel this is somebody kind of looking at this it has to do with investing in a situation Someone's hopes and dreams. See? You may be revisiting something here. Something you've always wanted. But it's an energy of being very determined, very focused, very ambitious. Some sort of goal. Something that you want. Now, if it's not yourself, this is someone else. Looking at everything they could ever want. Waiting patiently. <laughs> yeah. Scorpio. Yeah, a little Pisces energy. It's an energy of just sort of taking a pause. You can see here just the way the cards are placed. Someone is reflecting on something and uh, moving, going down this path. It's a life path choice decision. Yeah, just taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like you've gone through change, like changing something that you want here. But there is something to do with your hopes and dreams. And I do feel you're going to let go of something here. Something you've been invested in that may not be paying off. Yeah, there it is. Multiple opportunities, things speeding up. See, seeing things from a different perspective. I feel there's this need to kind of hurry. See, no more waiting patiently. It's time to hurry up and get moving. I do see a busy time coming. And opportunities coming in, communication. It's an energy of looking at things a little different, reading between the lines as well here. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it's an energy of worth and value. Whether, you know, to invest in a situation. Yeah, I do see a king of swords. Some of you may have multiple opportunities. Uh, you may have a king of wands. If you are the feminine watching this, the king of wands and the king of swords. So I do see some Aquarius energy. See releasing things that no longer serve. I feel like you're no longer going to be patient or invest in, in past situations. It's time to kind of move on. But this is this whole new path. See, thinking, analyzing the situation, being very analytical. So it has to do with being confident. You know, these two energies here tell me someone's feeling a little more confident about some sort of choice decision. But definitely the an 
analyzing, taking a little moment, looking at things from a couple different perspectives before you feel confident. Definitely reading between the lines, but you see this busy energy, opportunities coming in. Yeah, there's something new, seeing things clearly. I see a lot of happiness and joy. If you are thinking of moving on, relocating, or you're no longer invested in something here, something that you're looking at, whether it'll pay off, because it has to do with your hopes and dreams, but you may need to let go of something. Okay, releasing. See, things are clearing up. See, a lot of happiness and joy, something new. So you've got something new happening here. Now, like I say, you could have a couple of people here. You may be releasing someone. I do see a Leo energy. I see Aquarius. A little Pisces. So, yeah, it almost looks like there's somebody here going to reach out and talk to you. Somebody wants to start something if this isn't yourself up here. Uh, it does look like it, somebody with Leo, and it could be just one person too, just coming in quickly. This is a person very goal-oriented. This is someone who knows what they want, but they're looking at past. See, the lessons they've learned, they've become wise. They've learned something. <laughs> this is someone who often knows themselves quite well, looking at things from a different perspective before feeling confident to make a decision to start something here. Yeah, something new. Something shiny and bright, a happiness and joy. Let's have a look at the, maybe you're thinking of moving to a sunnier place. Maybe that's your hopes and dreams. Let's have a look at this six of swords. Why is this here? Yeah, see, it has to do with investing. See, investing in this past, taking the lessons learned. Something here maybe not paid off. You may be deciding to move on you know, calmly and peacefully. It's time for positive change. I do see change for the better. Yeah. See, something you maybe been waiting for, a situation coming to fruition, but it's about looking elsewhere, you know, kind of looking out there. It has to do with choosing the one. It could be in your love life, but it's choosing that wand. See, two cards here. See, something you were waiting for, waiting patiently for some kind of news communication. It looks like it's going to come in, and it has to do with a choice, a decision here. Yeah, see, it has to do with opportunity. Something here may not be good enough. It's not what you want. You may have, maybe you're a little bit concerned about missing an opportunity, but it's an energy of not, of not failing to recognize. See, there's one situation here that it... It's either somebody who's not your type or something here you don't want. But it's telling you to think this through. Look at things from different perspectives. Try to focus on the positive too. But I, I definitely see this happiness and joy here. I feel it's an energy of becoming clear, feeling confident. Yeah, there's been a lack, maybe feeling lonely or a lack of money. Yeah, choosing a path, see, choosing something here is not for you, I feel. It's not good enough. It's not what you want. Now, some of you could be feeling a little lonely, but it could have to do with money and your hopes and dreams. See, something here didn't pay off. Yeah, see, it's a person who's failed to recognize, failed to see. It's a decision, someone who's back and forth in their head. So if someone feels they missed an opportunity, now it is possible you've been waiting for something here and now you're looking elsewhere and we have a person feeling they missed an opportunity. Maybe you've started something new. This could be, you know, a couple of people here around you, but I kind of feel just because of the way the cards are coming out, this is one person. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sads, looks like Leo and some Aquarius energy, but it really could be anything. I do see a lot of earth here. Yeah, something to do with love. Someone here is definitely focused on their love life. Yeah, see someone feeling lonely. See lack and loneliness. See, it's someone here didn't invest. I feel like you were waiting and they didn't invest. There may have even been a rejection or someone ghosting someone. This is someone feeling lonely, lacking something in their life, looking at the lack. It has to do with someone letting go of things that no longer serve. You know what that is? Is indecision. It's time to make a decision, a life path decision. Someone's about to make a decision here. Oh, yeah. Teaming up, going down this path. It's an energy of someone acknowledging, though. See, they're analyzing this and acknowledging the need to cooperate and compromise in this path. This has to do, you know, what somebody brings to the table. It's an energy of someone's skill. Someone may be feeling lack. They don't have the skill. They're unable to do it. But it's an energy of failing to see opportunity. 
when it comes in. And it does look like love, feelings, and emotions. But it's also an energy when it comes to work. Doing something you love. So I do feel there's that energy. There's something right in front of you. It has to do with your hopes and dreams. But you need to let go of indecision. It's time to make a decision. It's an energy of hurry up. Because I see opportunities coming in. I do see some kind of communication. I, I do feel it's an energy of someone very clear. They want to start something. It's time for something new. It's time for change. And I see this energy of waiting. While someone's waiting, they've gone through change. And it is change for the better. And I don't know if it's relocation. It certainly looks like it. Waiting for some kind of communication. Waiting for something to pay off. Yeah. There's that King of Wands. See, fast and fiery. Very enthusiastic. It's definitely an, a busy time, but I do see this need to cooperate and compromise and compatibility. Someone's acknowledging something by looking at things from a different perspective. It's an energy of um, whether two people are compatible, whether they are um, complement each other what two people bring to the table. So it's possible if you are a feminine watching this is you're making some kind of choice, possibly between two. Yeah. But it almost looks like someone here didn't put all their eggs in their in their in one basket. See, just keeping things open, waiting for some kind of change, some kind of news. But I see change for the better. It's time for change, plain and simple. Yeah, and it could be a work situation where being, being acknowledged, working in a team setting, looking at things from a different perspective, see, looking at the bright side. Someone's having a change of perspective here. I definitely see a Pisces, so it could be someone with Pisces in their chart. Yeah, tell me about this King of Swords. What does this person want? Yeah, this is someone looking back, feeling beat up. See, this person feels like just giving up. But this is someone who's not a quitter. Why? Because they're looking on the bright side. So there's something, it, it's just like new vitality, whole new energy, looking at the bright side. So somebody here feeling pretty enthusiastic. I feel like you've got a communication coming in. Someone wants to start something here, but it's about everything being exposed, coming out in the open. It's how someone's going to express themselves. So this is someone who felt like giving up. Now they don't want to give up. Now for yourself, if you feel like, you know, you've had a tough time and you feel like giving up, it's time to put the past in the past to move towards something new. It's it's also an energy of, you know, if you are waiting for someone here and you're just about ready to give up, here comes someone new, especially if you've been lonely. Okay, But I actually feel like you've got someone with Pisces in their chart. So don't miss this opportunity. If you are feeling indecisive, it's time to release this energy of being in the head time to get out of the head it has to do with head and heart too here i can see it <laughs> life path choice decision or a choice between two yeah see windfall of abundance the timing is right i see some kind of truth victory success win or lose see it's an energy of someone looking at the bright side a whole change of perspective because they they're putting the shoe on the other foot Looking at the bright side, seeing the truth, win or lose. See, if you don't come in, if you don't speak your truth, or if you want to be more successful, you can't give up. But I feel someone here feels like giving up. They feel beat up. They're looking at the past. But that change of perspective is where someone is coming in, win or lose. you got a person wanting to start something, win or lose. I see that windfall of abundance. It's time for a change. See, it's an energy of someone who's now in a hurry. <laughs> Some of you may have a choice between two. You may see that someone here may never change. So it, when that happens and you have a choice and someone here you feel will never change, very negative, negative thinking, this is where you may have to change. But when you're just about ready to give up, here it comes. See, success, truth, victory. Now, I also see somebody coming up with an idea. Could be to do with work. See, I, that's why I kind of feel like someone's hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. Somebody here was indecisive, failed to recognize a magical opportunity. So don't miss this magical opportunity. Who is this King of Wands? That came out. Yeah, someone who's been keeping everything to themselves, being careful what they wish for. It's someone who never got what they wanted. 
See, they feel beat up, feel like giving up. They never seem to get what they want. So it's very pessimistic, negative. Now this person's looking at something different. That's why I feel this new vitality, high vibration, a lot of happiness. Who is this King of Cups? Definitely connected to the King of Wands. For most of you, I feel like it's just the same person. Yeah, see, it has to do with the soulmate connection of friendship connecting now yeah possibly there is two now that this is out some of you it's just one person going through these energies others of you you have several people with these energies so it's an energy of two people connecting see someone's failing to see an opportunity they were indecisive now it could be someone who had a choice between two there may have been a rejection because someone failed to see they need to release something i think the release possibly too is negativity negative thinking uh, the energy of lack, someone who feels insecure, you know, insecure about feelings, emotions, unable to choose. But it's time to release all that. And I do see someone balancing head and heart. Yeah, someone here definitely has regret. Focusing on the negative, the cup half empty instead of the cup half full. This is what's happening. Yeah, whatever this person's letting go, it's insecurities, lack, maybe even lack of money. And it could be an energy of moving, relocating, or just an energy of change. It's time for change. So this is someone who knows that they see the truth. They've gone within. It's time for change. This is someone who needs change, period. Oh, yeah, they see it. There it is. See, moving on, leaving something behind. It's also someone here going with the flow, but it is change for the better. You could have a person coming back around who rejected you. They may have failed, see that they failed and missed a magical opportunity for love. Because I do see a soulmate connection, two people connecting, sharing their innermost self. See, someone was very negative. I feel they weren't sharing. They were negative, pessimistic. And it's possible they didn't see this about themselves. This lack, but now it's a lack in loneliness. See, the things that are lacking in their life. Yeah, it's time to walk away. See, leaving something behind that's no longer emotionally fulfilling. It's someone who's searching for something. See, someone's walked away. Now they're searching. So this is also an energy of whatever it is you're waiting for, whatever you're searching for, someone else is searching for the same thing. So very interesting energy. Yeah, I mean, you both could be in this energy. If you are the feminine, and this is... You know, something you've been waiting for up here. I feel it's an energy of change for the better, waiting for change. If you have, you know, like I feel, it's almost looking, well, this person's never going to change. So it's time to walk away, but still focus on the negative. It's time to release. Yeah, it has to do with choosing the wand. That's all about waiting for that wand. That's why you see the hand on the wand, choosing the one, choosing the right path. It's about choosing the right person or the right path in love, something you're really passionate about. See, someone focused on that wand right there, the king of wands, focusing on the wand, something they're really passionate about, someone's hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. Someone's missed an opportunity because they were indecisive or just failed to see themselves. Yeah, they need to change because now we have someone here who I feel is you know, kind of moving on, maybe starting something new. They could be looking for some kind of truth to see that. But I think this person sees the truth. They need to change. Yeah, they need to think things through. It's someone who rushes in. See, they're indecisive. They keep changing their mind. They can't make up their mind. So it's about thinking it through. Cooperation, compromise, compatibility going down this path. Now, this could be a work situation teaming up see it's the skills that somebody brings to the table focusing on positive not giving up yeah see beautiful energy there it is life path choice making this choice somebody's ready to choose it could be the one starting something new but it could be a new job or situation a whole new life experience here Ooh, very very nice yeah someone's been focusing a lot on their money that's an energy of someone assessing. See, it's an energy of assessing and reassessing, looking at things from a different perspective. It's an energy of slowing down. This is somebody who rushed into something very quickly, rushed to make a decision. But it's about rethinking. We have definitely, there's a person who can't make up their mind. 
They keep changing their mind, but they need to think it through. So it's an energy of saying, take a little pause and think it through. Someone's rethinking something and they're assessing the situation. Definitely to do with money, finances. Someone who feels they don't have enough money or they're not good enough. Very negative. It's an energy of someone really invested in that. Who would want to invest in someone who's negative? And this is someone who's thinking this too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that Queen of Cups. There you are. Now, you could be the masculine or feminine here. Yeah. Interesting energy. But this is someone here who's waiting for someone to reciprocate, waiting for news, waiting for communication. This is someone who keeps changing their mind. And I do feel some of you are seeing that. So while you're waiting, I feel like you've changed. Now this person may be coming back around and now you're not sure. So it's saying to think it through. Don't miss the opportunity. Yeah? Letting, this is an energy of being open to new. The feminine, being open to new. Letting someone know you're open. But think it through. Don't rush into a situation. I do see multiple opportunities. I think see somebody in a hurry. Someone's now in a hurry. And it could be... Someone who doesn't want you to get away or you are the one who got away. But I feel like you have changed yourself. I do feel like you're open to new. See, it's an energy of someone who the Empress only waits for so long. This could be anything, okay? Any aspect of your life. But there it is, yeah. You got somebody here and now you got the Knight of Cups. Somebody coming in asking you out. Oh, yeah. I see beautiful change. See, when you're just about ready to give up, here somebody comes. Now, if you've been waiting for someone... And kind of invested in it, looking to see if this person's actually invested or actually interested. This is where I feel that energy of lack. If you are feeling lack and lonely, it's an energy of leaving this behind, searching for something new. This is what this is all about. Moving forward. But whatever it is you're looking for, someone is looking for the same thing. I feel we got two people looking for the same thing. So if you are leaving someone behind because they can't make up their mind, they keep changing their mind, they rush in and back out. It's an energy of someone who doesn't always follow through. So this is why some of you may have another opportunity. It's a windfall of abundance too. It's time for change, seeing the truth. I see success, victory. Beautiful. It could be the same person coming around changed for the better because I do see this as someone who knows they need to change. Yeah, see, justice and balance, head and heart decision, little Libra energy. Now, this has to do with commitment marriage, but it's about doing thing, doing something right, whether this is the right path, the right choice. So this is really about doing something that's right for you. You may see someone here isn't right for you after a period of time. They're just not right. They have lack, negativity, they don't bring anything to the table, they can't make up their mind, and there you've got someone who comes in right. <laughs> Interesting energy. Who is this Knight of Cups? I feel it's connected to this King of Cups. Yeah, somebody going to reach out, they're hoping you feel the same, you reciprocate, that it's mutual. They're going to reach out here. I actually feel, you know, it's an energy of someone that you're waiting for. Someone's about to reciprocate, tell you how they feel, or they're about to just ask you out. But it's about them coming in right. And I do feel you're looking at someone here who can't make up their mind. They don't come in right. They keep changing their mind. I mean, it could be yourself going through that too, the feminine. But the Empress is somebody here who's learned the lessons of the Queens, taken the lessons you've learned about what you're investing in, what you're waiting for. Is this worth the wait? But I do feel you've got someone showering abundance upon you, being generous with their feelings, their emotions. Mm -hmm. See, I feel like you've got someone here that just isn't right. You can't trust them to make up their mind. So it's kind of like you yourself going through the change. You're looking at this yourself here, I feel about going down this path, whether you're even compatible with someone, because it has to do with someone who can't make up their mind. But I also see someone worried that someone's going to get away. They're in a hurry. So it could be a reconciliation or someone fine. It doesn't look like a reconciliation. It looks more like someone finally making up their mind. But others of you are no longer giving to someone. Yeah, you're assessing the situation. Yeah. Some of you might just want to be friends or you might friend zone someone or see they're better as a friend. 
but it's an energy of, I definitely see you being grounded, focusing on work, your house, your home. But I also see someone here, you know, marriage. It's all about marriage. Um, it's also about um, something being fair. So if you had someone who didn't treat you right, you may be looking at that. Yeah, someone who can't make up their mind. So I feel like you're going to assess this situation and look at all the details. Yeah, it's an energy of feeling safe and secure. This is the Empress feeling safe, feeling secure, stable. You want somebody stable. This is you got someone here who's not stable. Very negative. And it could be they have a lack of money. They don't bring anything to the table. They can't make up their mind. But it's an energy of looking at this, putting the shoe on the other foot, how you would feel. And that's what I feel like you're doing here. So yeah, it could be someone finally coming in to shower abundance, being more generous. It's an energy of being comfortable. It's also an energy of confidence. Yeah, it's just taming the beast, teaching someone how you want to be treated. Yeah, but I feel this is yourself being confident. And I do see you seeing somebody who has a lack of confidence. So, and it could be someone who made you feel that way because they didn't treat you right. But you may be seeing it's their lack of confidence. So, yeah, we have a king and queen of cups here. Regardless, some of you are making a life path choice here. Yeah, building a strong foundation. I see a reason to celebrate your house, your home. Someone here sees you as marriage material or see you see you as the right person, uh, the right, doing things right. So definitely a person doing making a head and heart decision. I feel it's telling you to do the same, to think it through. Don't rush into anything. Just stay grounded. <laughs> yeah. Some of you have been spending a lot of time alone. It may be time for a whole new path, time to get out there. Yeah. Maybe even thinking of, like I say, moving and relocating, you know, moving into a new home. If you are dealing with someone and they're unsure about what they want, they can't make up their mind. Maybe moving in together or about marriage or commitment, you may be kind of, you know, rethinking that yourself. But there it is. Yeah, see, you're looking, reflecting on the past. One last look over your shoulder. You're going to go down this path with someone. But you're going to do what's right for you. There it is. Teaching someone how you want to be treated. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. You want someone who's fair. Someone's not treating you right. They're not coming in right. So there it is. Taming the beast. Teaching someone how you want to be treated. Yeah. Someone here treats you right, somebody doesn't. And that's what you're going to go for. Very nice. You're being wise, so you've learned something. There it is, the opportunity. Someone's offering you this cup. So when you're just about ready uh, to give up on love, here it comes. It's either someone new or someone, co someone coming back change for the better. It, it's either or with that energy because of the perspective. And the world is here. <laughs> Twice. There you go. See, taming the beast. See, somebody coming in feeling confident. See, it's an energy of someone's lack of confidence about this life path choice. It could be moving in together, getting married. And for some of you, this is a job, something you want, your hopes and dreams, something you're really passionate about. Okay. So just think it through. Choose your battles. Some of you are choosing your battles. You're choosing to focus on work. Okay. You're feeling very confident. Some of you may have, while you're waiting, you chose to focus on work. Um, it's an energy with the Queen of Pentacles being ready for this opportunity. So you're more than ready. And I feel like you, if it is an energy of someone felt that you weren't bringing something to the table, and it could be them, could be you, because um, there was a lack of money, they may have walked away. So... But yeah, I do feel like, you know, it's an air. I, I feel this is someone too, searching, someone here searching for the same thing. It has to do with someone who's confident, someone who knows what they want. So there it is, confirmation. Yeah, you've got a king of pentacles coming in. Somebody who's stable, grounded, practical. Yeah, I feel like you got, there's definitely an energy of someone here who, I mean, it could be this person coming in change for the better, being more financially stable. But I see two people who are stable, two people who are ready for a commitment. And there's that truth, victory, success, win or lose. So, yeah, some of you are going to cut somebody out. No more waiting. The situation is coming to fruition. 
Yeah, beautiful energy. I, I feel like you've got this. I feel like you're just being really practical and sensible. But this is someone here too, the masculine, the feminine, taking a leap of faith, leaving the past behind. La one last look over the shoulder, both of you going down this path. So yeah, everything is all right. <laughs> someone coming in right, coming in ready, ready, willing, and able. Very nice. This is both of you. So I see a new beginning. Now this could be a new person, just a whole new path with someone too. So such a lovely energy. Take care, Scorpio. I wish you the very best and we'll see you soon.